Lee, thanks for joining us. Last week you gave your away supporters plenty to cheer about. Today you give your home supporters plenty to cheer about. Yeah, obviously winning the game puts a smile on everybody's face. Um, three good goals from us in, in terms of the build-up for, for the penalty, um, one of them. Um, I thought the, the last goal was a, a real good goal, and hence why we put those players on the pitch. We knew we'd get them, them breakaways. No, but a really good performance with a little bit of everything, a bit of grit and determination to stay in the game um, and see out uh, a bit of pressure from them. Some moments, not enough of them, but moments of passages of play, um, showing some confidence on the ball and some professionalism in, in uh, seeing the game out. So I thought, I thought they showed a little bit of everything today and fully deserved the win. How pleasing was that then? You've scored three goals, you've kept a clean sheet, but you mentioned the word professionalism. Is that a sign of what you've been getting into your squad over these last few weeks and you've seen the improvement there? Well, we've constantly been talking about that. You know, there's, there, is, there has been errors in games that have cost us points. Um, it, it, at the time, it's, it's disappointing it happens um, and disappointing for, for the fans as well. Um, but as long as the players look to learn from that and which they're showing they're doing, um, we will get better. Of course, two goals for Dan Ajay and an assist as well. You know, they played an important part. Not only did they score the goals, there were also some good, some good defending from Courtney Baker Richardson and Dan Ajay when called upon <coughs> from set plays. Yeah, and obviously Courtney would want to score, um, but he's defending inside the box. He headed everything. It was like a magnet. Um, reluctant to bring him off, but he, he was done. His race was done. Um, and like I say, the, 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 um, the penalty from the corner, if, if one of our players does that, then... I've got no complaints because I'll be saying you give someone an opportunity to give a penalty against you. And then I thought it was some really good play building up to, to the other goal. Connor Thomas switch of play, um, got Dan um, off his back foot and been able to, to drive at the defence. And I thought he just teased him in and, and took it round him. Um, by the way, good penalties under pressure, really good penalties um, for, to, to do that technique. Um, <laughs> It's hard when you're on the sideline watching someone do that, but he's very, very good at it. Um, but look, they're individuals. I talk about the team a lot um, because it's important that the team progress, not just individuals. Um, if the team progress and do well, individuals will get everything that's coming their way. Could you not take penalties like that? No. I took five towards the end of the career and everyone hit the bar and either went in or he did it either went in or um, hit the bar and came out. Um, but no, I don't know how I managed to take penalties, if I'm honest. Let's talk about the word gamesmanship, though, because it did come into then penalties, didn't it, from, from the opposition. They were trying the best. All sorts of things were going on. But he's a cool customer, isn't he, from, from the spot? Yeah, really cool. Um, like most teams, they'll try anything um, to put the, the penalty taker off. A couple of things I wasn't happy with. Um, which I'll let the fourth official know, um, which I really wasn't happy with. The, 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 so far you can go. Uh, I, I just thought they went over the mark with a couple. Um, but then Courtney was there for the second one and just stood around the spot. Um, but, yeah, um, like I say, good win. Um, let the boys recover tomorrow. We'll be in on Sunday for a long trip to Colchester. You wanted that back-to-back. -back. You wanted that build-up from last week. That was important. We, we've wanted that for a long time, Graham. Um, and we've been able to put some really good work into the players um, and the schedules um, eased up a little bit. And we've got players back um, and, and that helps. Um, a really strong bench, we've had to leave players off the bench today. Um, so a real strong squad, um, you know, make, makes it tough when you're the manager to who you're going to leave out. Um, but we want to strive forward and I've been saying that, we don't want to um, be associated with the taking it easy because it's the end of the season. Everyone below us has won near enough, um, so the, the points gap is still the same. We want to try and get as high up the league as we can, so we've got some positivity going into next year. 14 goals for Dan Ajay, but the first one for this season for a long, frustrating time for, for Chris Long, but it showed what it was all about. We spoke to him yesterday on an interview when he talked about he wanted to score some goals and help the team, and he got that one chance and scored. Yeah, he spoke about that to us. He's desperate to play and score goals. Um, in if When he went through, uh, I thought it was a great run from him, a lovely reverse pass. Um, I didn't have a doubt. It's easy to say that after he scored, but you just expect the back of the net because that's what he does. You're giving them opportunities, he scores goals. Um, he's had to wait a long time, eight months, um, without playing. Worked extremely hard. Um, hopefully we can get the benefits of that between now and the end of the season. And was there just one little concern that the referee seemed as though, I know you have to be careful what you say, but it seems as though he came book happy or card happy 
on your players. I think you've got quite a lot of bookings and we're treading the, the hard line. There's no point talking about it, is there? I've said it before, I don't want to get involved with, with the referees. I think everyone, you, you're obviously inclined to, to think that if you're mentioning that. So but there's nothing we can do about it now, um, which is a disappointment. I just think what, what the good thing was that they, they played the game right, those lads who were under yellow card. That, <coughs> that's what I was looking at. Yeah, and we got to half time and the game was becoming emotional. Um, there was emotion throughout the stadium there, fans, the staff, me on the sideline. But emotion's good in football, but it's also important that you, you, you're telling your feet exactly what you want to happen from your brain because you don't want to be lunging into tackles. You, you've got to um, be in the moment uh, and not let it get on top of you because emotion's good in football. And I thought they dealt with that. Um, it's quite easy to bring players off on a yellow card. I didn't think um, it was a, that type of game anyway. I thought it was two competitive teams. Um, they've obviously got a lot to play for still and were desperate to win the game.